Want to learn to roll your canoe? Watch our video to see how. Eskif, committed to your next river adventure. It's probably just a matter of time before you become separated from your boat. But having a strong canoe roll increases your confidence to try more moves on the river, knowing you can independently recover from a capsize. Paddlers have many ways to roll their canoes. However, for this video, we will focus on just one method, the modified low brace roll using something we like to call the step and flipper. So, let's look at the four basic steps to the canoe roll. Rolls begin with a setup position that protects the body from hazards in the water, followed by a sweeping motion during which the canoe is stepped up on its side, then completed with a propulsion stroke called the flipper that pushes the body back into the upright canoe. The following is a breakdown of the individual steps. Flipping upside down can be both disorienting and risky as you might strike the river bottom. A standard setup position ensures you are protected when your world turns upside down. Tucking forward and placing your paddle alongside the canoe protects both you and your blade from being pulled out of position by the current. As soon as you feel yourself falling into the drink, tuck your paddle along the offside of the canoe and tuck your body down to the airbag. A good tuck keeps you out of harm's way. After the setup, the canoe needs to be tilted or stepped onto its side. The leg action is just like climbing a set of stairs. Use the stepping motion by extending your offside leg and pulling up your onside leg to tilt the canoe. Next, swing your body out perpendicular to the canoe with your paddle skimming the surface of the water. Finish with your shoulders nearly flat on the surface and your paddle diagonal to your shoulders. When your shoulders are flat on the water, you are twisted at the waist. More on this in a moment. The key here is to get the canoe on its side, your shoulders flat on the water, and paddle held diagonally. Next, the flipper stroke. It's used to push your body back into the canoe. Extend the T-grip downward, then pull it forcefully upward, making the blade act as a strong flipper. This pushes you back into the canoe. It's during the flipper that you untwist your body. Keep your legs locked from the step phase by maintaining knee pressure on your outfitting. A rigid core locks the upper body and legs and uses the body to continue to push the canoe through the legs into the upright position. The paddle should be aligned diagonally with the shoulders and follows the body movement into the canoe. The final move for the roll is to center yourself over the center of the canoe, ready with a stability stroke. Almost any stroke will do, but a forward stroke works great. A powerful forward stroke not only adds to your stability, it also moves you where you need to go next. The onside roll is just half the story. Let's look at the offside roll, just in case. The trick here is to move yourself and your paddle from the offside to the onside while underwater. One method is to try and throw yourself into the movement and use momentum to carry you beneath the canoe to your onside so you can roll up normally. Sometimes the buoyancy of your life jacket may put the brakes on the offside roll. If this happens, use the paddle to reach over to scoop and pull yourself around under the canoe. Start the scoop stroke at the bow and pull your head around under the canoe. 
Recover the blade by slicing it back to your own side and complete the roll to right the canoe. No one's roll is 100%, so here are two common mistakes to help you troubleshoot a missed roll. The first is when you untwist your body into the canoe during the flipper without pushing your offside leg away and lifting with your onside leg. Once the canoe is on its side, lock your core and legs so your body movement continues to right the canoe. The second common problem is not lowering your grip hand for the flipper stroke. Without it, the stroke has no push. Instead, focus on lowering your grip hand to give you the range to pull up on the handle to develop the propulsion to move you back into the canoe. Having a reliable canoe roll is one of the building blocks that opens doors to tackling more challenging moves. And the canoe roll boosts your confidence and independence on the river. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos as they become available. See you on the river.